Do you know how to read that word that's bolded? Ukinukeru kasega. Yeah, ukinukeru kaze. What does that mean? The The wind that wind the wind that move it across, right? The wind that blows kind of. across. Yeah. So nukeru actually means through to go through something. So fuki nukeru means to blow through. So the wind that blows through. So this fuki nukeru has this word in it, which is nukeru, which is to go I... through. Can you read this for me? Nukeru. Nukedasu. Perfect. So this is the flow out or to begin flowing through. One of those two. Uh to so to flow out. How do you say to um not the flow, what was the word? Uh to go through. So to go through and out of the man, the estate grounds. How would we say that? Hi. Yashiki. Yashiki o. Hi. Yep. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Shinobi komu. Perfect. Do you know what that means? To sneak in. Yep. How would you say to sneak into the mansion? Hey. Um, what is this? Um, the works with the ta. The, the taku, hey, otaku yep. from otaku. Yep. Hey, taku. Hey, taku wo shinobi komu. Good guess. So with this right here, we actually have a destination. The idea is that we are going into, we're sneaking into the location. So in this case, we actually would use ni. <laughs> So, teitaku ni shinobikomu. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? Hi. Um, difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Um, come on, mu muzuka. No, not muzuka. You're right. Uh, it's mu zukashi. Muzukashi. It is muzukashi. Yep. Hi. Okay. Okay. Can you read um the sentence up here for me? What does this mean? To go through the mansions, it is difficult. Yeah. So this right here feels very more general. The act of going through ma mansions in general is very hard. And if we use no, it feels like when more we're talking about a specific occasion. So going through this mansion is difficult. Kind of gives off that kind of idea. So this mansion versus mansions. Kind of is what the koto and no kind of illustrate in this point. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Shinobi komu no mo nuke dasu no mo muzukashi yashiki da. It is a mansion's. Yep. Uh, it is a difficult mention to sneak in and to, to go through. Yeah, how do we flow that together in English? To to um, um it is difficult to sneak in and to go through this mansion. Perfect. Yes. I think. If I was translating it, I would say it is a mansion that is difficult to sneak into and also it's difficult to, to get at, to go through. Um, basically, in other words, to exit. <laughs> so yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, kanji That's check it. from last week. Do you remember this hard guy? I see. Um, showman. Perfect, which is the front. How about this one? That's it. Uh-huh. And this guy? Hey. Perfect. This one? Ku 
Oui. Yep. Creep. And the last one on this, actually, second to last one is going to be this guy. Hey, Taku. Hey, Taku. Perfect. And this is our last one. Ripana. Perfect. Um, so this is just um the negative form of adjective. So oki. First of all, oki kunai. So you drop the e and you add kunai. How would you change difficult into not difficult? Muzukashikunai. So a lot of times the E sound will just be basically fully dropped in that kind of thing. Um, do you know what konkai means? Kong. This time. Yep. Perfect. Um, so your job is to remember the kon, like from kon mitua, part of konkai. Um, can you read the sentence I... for me? Konkai ehe ni sukamare nai. This time, I was not captured by the guard. Yeah, or I will not be captured. Both work. Um, so remember, tai is a way to add wa to something. For example, nusumu turns into nusumitai. What does modoru turn into to return? Modoru. To want to return. Modori right. tai. Perfect. Modori tai. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Sono rochi ni modori tai. Perfect. What does I this want mean? To return to that road or that alley. That alleyway. Perfect. What? How could you do Thai form and negative form together with modoru to mean I don't want to return? Modori takunai. Perfect. Yep, modori takunai. Don't want to return. This word started with kon. Do you know what it ended with? Kai. Perfect. Kon kai. Kon kai. Can you read the sentence for me? Kon kai. Yugure. Yashiki ni modori takunai. Right. This time I do not want to return or I will not return to the um to the dusk or the twilight mansions. What is the Thai part right here? Taku telling us? I do not want. Yes, I do not want. Perfect. Yes, you corrected yourself even though you were correct the first time. So I had to double check. Uh yeah. nitotte. Nitote is when you're kind of list, you're going to be talking about something that's true for you, but not necessarily true for other people. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Ore ni tote yugure yashiki o nukedasu koto wa muzukashi. So this means for me, it, the act of going through the Twilight Mansion is hard. Might be better to do no in this context, I'm being kind of specific. But perhaps it's not hard, for example, it's probably very easy for the man of Twilight to go through his house because it's his house. He owns it. But for me, in particular, it would be hard. How would you say for Good me? Question. Yeah. The dasu. Does the dasu imply, as we say earlier, meaning to exit a, a building? Yeah. I believe or does it just mean? I believe in this context, dasu is to exit. Versus dasu to begin. So th things can be a little bit loose for that kind of stuff. I, uh, kind of ideas that you go through to, to exit the location is kind of what it um tends to insinuate. I, I, okay, sorry. Continue. Uh, your turn to make the sentence. For me, it is a place where I don't want to return to. So this right here, just so you know, is a relative clause describing place. So, ore, basho, modoru. Basho, the place that I do not want to return. Ore ni totte. Um, Turn. 
これ見るとって、it is a place. その、その場所、その場所を、戻りたくない。This is grammatically correct. Oh. This does not have a relative clause in it. This is just, I do not want to, for me, I do not want to return to that place. Could you reorganize this so that we have a relative clause here? So, so the relative, relative, clause, the relative clause would be modifying a noun. Yes. And the noun here would be the basho. <laughs> yes. So, Morori Taku Nai. And does Nai have to modify the Basho? So, does that E have to be dropped for something else? Is that Naku... how things work in Japanese? I forgot about this grammar point.、Hmm. Well, so if what if this was connect... an E adjective? What if this was O Ki? What if I want to say a big place? How would I do that? O Ki. Oki basho. So I don't have to do anything. I just、Correct. keep the E. Yep, you keep the E. So ku happens. So with Japanese, it's pretty easy because normally how something ends is how that ending is always conjugated. So E adjectives are treated exactly the same as negative nouns. Like that. Anything that ends with E is going to conjugate and act as the glue in the exact same way. Um, same with like how ta form almost always represents past tense and things like that. So, a lot of times there's a pretty easy to guess because of that, because the endings are very much signatures in Japanese for how things connect. You kind of think of them as almost like particles in a way, because of that's how we like stick things together and how we、um, mark what can be moved and stuff. So, e is actually kind of just a glue between stuff. So, so nai, the e is actually. Not really there, you might think. It's kind of just there as a glue marker. You say, you can put me as glue.、Um, right. So here we have, so we need to end with a couple of dot for that place. So we say that place、yes. is the place that I do not want to return to. Yeah. With、um, this book, a lot of times for sentences that end with、um, relative clauses, they like to just end it on the clause. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that or not.、Um, um, mm. Looks like this place doesn't end on a relative clause. But rather than being like an actual sentence with a wa and a ga, when we're ending with like a noun and everything else is describing the noun, they're not doing the da, which is like very interesting as like a writing quirk.、Um, mm. uh, I think this is the only book I've seen do that, but it's not necessarily like. Wrong, but I think it's because the book's in first person. It's probably like an interesting grammatical rule for that.、Um, but if you have a wa,、right. you have to have da to、um, act as the verb ender. But theoretically, if it's a relative clause, that's the whole sentence, then I guess we don't actually need a da, which is like the complement for the subject. We don't actually have a subject for the sentence. We're just a noun that we've ended the subject with and then added stuff to describe the noun. Yeah, it's kind of interesting.、Right. Uh, anyway, do you know what isho means? Isho, together. Perfect. So let's go read this line in the book. Hi. Ore ni tote wa modori taku nai basho da ga. Konkai wa nebri to isho da kara ma sukamaru koto wa. Nai daro. To me, this place is not a place I want to return to. However, this time with Neburi, together with, because I am with Neburi this time, ma, I guess, sukamaru koto wa nai. I'm not going to be captured. Probably so. Perfect. So the whole sentence all together s a y Um, because I'm probably not going to be captured this time since I'm with Neburi.、Um... You kind of have to start over here with the ga. <laughs> But yeah, perfect. Lost it. <laughs> so yeah, for me, yes, this is a place I don't want to return to. 
so even though it's a place I don't want to return to, since this time I'm with Nebody, well, I probably won't be captured. The act of Hi. capturing will probably not happen. Um, how's this kanji read? Utari. Hi, and what was this guy that we uh that I uh somehow <laughs> thought was a different word? Kaiwa. So Kaiwa discussion. Kaiwa. Um, how do you read this word? Mon, monban. Hi. So a monban is a guard of a gate. So um, some kind of guard, someone that stands watch by the gate. Monban. And oh, I see. Isn't that the ban from like the number? It is the ban An from the number. Of it's also numbers? the ban from banken, which is a guard dog. So ban has um multiple meanings. Ichiban. So the most. Ichiban, first order. Number one ban. Yeah, that's right. Ban, first order, second order, third order objects yep. or buildings or something like that. Yeah. Ban can use for numbers. Ban kind of has like a most ish. Yeah. Not like most ish, but the most. A little bit. Because die, die is like the generic. Um, oh, so to say Ichiban number. mean I'm the best. Yeah. Ichiban's like, I'm number one. And Niban's like, I'm number two. Number one. It, it's, I guess it's the most similar to saying the word number. <laughs> I'm number blank. Um, so it's like the most mm. of those numbers. So you can say that I'm number seven, but it kind of has that type of insinuation. Well, die doesn't have that. Die is just like. Daichi, for example, Daichi, number one. So Daichi wa would be chapter one. Mm. But you wouldn't say Ichiban, no, no, no chapter. That'd be, that'd be like the most important chapter. would be kind of what that would start to Hai. insinuate. Uh, but yeah, so okay. Monban, what does that mean? Because it's not the number of gate. Yeah. Specifically a guard that guards physical. the gate. So it started with Mon. Mm -hmm. What did it end with? Ban. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? There's a guard in front of the uh, the the iron door or the iron gate. I keep Hai. saying door. Yep. The, the iron, iron gate. Hai. Okay. I'm like, what is the word I want you to read here? Probably this one. What does it say? Oh, it's this whole section right it's here. Do, 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 do. Wait, I'm start. Oh. Yeah, that's Dolka. Here it's a... <laughs> but this is, this is what I want. Anna... Anaki doka o tosu. Um, saifu. Fu, fu, uh, saifu. Saifu kawari no himo. Hai. So it is a string that is used in the place of a wallet. Yep. Uh, which passes through the hole of the coins. Perfect. Yep. So tosu right here is the pass through. Um, so now your job is to remember that this kanji is read as to, to su. To. Um, so to su, to. what is the passive form of to su? Passive. To be acted upon. All right. U verb. So it's su u. Passive, then we have to come to the a sound. So tosa followed by reru. Yep. To -areru. Yep. Tosa reru. Perfect. So this is to pass rather than to be passed. Um, can you read this for me? Yes. Um teka wa tetsu no mon o to sareta. Right. The iron gate, um, the underlings, not the servants. I like the word minion. The iron gate. Perfect. The minion. That's just a word I like. <laughs> minion. Um, do you uh, recognize this kanji? Yes, from uh, from Kaiwa. So, but so. here is Hanasu. Perfect. Yep, which is to have a conversation, to have something to talk about. Hanasu. Um, do you remember how this guy's read? Hi, it's read as um Koshi. Good guess. So, no, no, no. That can be Shikoshi, cool, Shikoshi. but that's normally this guy. Yep, Skoshi. This guy is like Kogoi. 
and that does have they're very similar in meaning. Scotty, it's a little bit. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Hi, um, Machutsushi wa monban to hana hanashita. The magician spoke to the guard. Yep, the magician spoke with the guard, or the guard and the magician were speaking. So our next word is soro, which of course is an u adjective, and it says sends with u. But this is to gather, to assemble. To gather. Soro. To assemble. Soro. Um, do you happen to know how this guy's pronounced? We have the nin at the end. Hey, it's san nin. Yep. This san is from nin. Naruto. Oh, the is it? Three most oh. powerful. Yeah, the three most you're powerful right. ninjas are it's, called the Sun Nin. You're right. They are called that. That's kind of funny because it just means three people. <laughs> it's a normal way to say, but they're like, it's the big Sun Nin. Um, what's the, the chef three. form of Soro? Hi, um, Soro to have form because it's an U verb. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take the glottal stop. So yep. Soro te. Perfect. To assemble. Soro te. Can you read the sentence for me? Yeah, like like from uh, Power Rangers when they come together. Oh, they might yell that. I don't know. I never watched the Japanese version. <laughs> to assemble. Um, sarate! <laughs> mong bang, sarate, come together. Mong bang ga san nin sorata. The three guard. No, 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 no. The guards. And then three together so what does that mean so let's start so for one thing this has to do with how counters work in japanese counters can kind of just be thrown right in front of the verb so this is telling us how many guards there are so right here it says um monban ga sorota which is just guard or guards gathered sanin right here meaning three people gathered and we know these people are the guards so the guards three of them gathered so this is, this is just I how see. counters get thrown in Japanese. They're just randomly thrown in like this, commonly. I or see. you will attach this to the noun with like a no. But uh, it's very common for this just to be flopped in there, right in front of the verb. I would say this is I the see. most common. Um, they could have just thrown it in front of the mongbang and it was still... Kind of. It, it... In that case, you would normally have um no. So like, san ni no mongbang in that case. It's like interesting. It, hi, hi. The the most commonly it'll just be thrown in front of the verb. And if it's in front of like the noun, we, we actually do attach it <laughs> normally. Um that's probably exception to that, but that's what I normally see. Um so let's go read the line from the book. It's right here. See, hi. Got the no right there. <laughs> right. Because that is a noun and it, yep. in order to modify another noun, they have to by grammatical rule attach a no particle. That makes sense. So, neburi ga futari no monban to skoshi hanasu hanasu to san nin sorote mon o to sareta. Hai. So, first off, neburi. Yeah. Um, neburi, the two of them, the neburi and the two guard. Um, together had a conversation. Yep. Had a had a chit chat. Had a and san nin sorote. The two of them gathered. Uh, mon o tosareta, and they go through the gate. They go through the mon. Right. So what this is together. actually saying is that Neverdy had a small conversation with two guards. The three of them gathered together and went through the gate. So the three of them is saying nobody and the two guards there. Hi. With the two guard. Yeah. So it's never like a total of three. And the guards are all together walking through the gate. Uh oh. Hi. Uh can you read this for me? I would think it's Yong Yong yeah. Nin. Yong Nin perfect. Four people. So let's go read this line. But it. No, you're right. It's Yonin. But it could be she. It could she, be she, right? No. It yeah, could be she, Nin. Theoretically, but people don't say that. 
、she is, she is a way yon can be read. Like, she got to is the fourth month, but you don't say yon got to. So, it, normally in most cases, only one or the other is ever picked for she and yon. So, for counting people, you use yon rather than she. I would say yon is more common for、um, counters, and she is more common on its own with the exception of、um, April. So, if they're counting to, to five, they're probably going to say she. But if they're counting anything, they're probably going to use yon or yo or something like that. Oh,、uh, so in the counter is yon, and in the case of, of just counting numbers all by themselves, like in math, yeah, they use probably going to be she. Normal. Hi.、Right. So here we have Yong Nin no Teka ga Yashiki no Nakae to Sareta.、Right. So the four minions、um, headed or go through towards the direction of inside the estate, the Yashiki.、Perfect. Yep. um I'm going to skip that because you knew that super well last time. Do, do, do. um How do you read this word? <laughs> uh Shoumen Genkan. Shoumen Genkan. So the Shoumen Genkan is the front entrance, kind of like the front door, but they kind of mean like the front area when you enter the house normally. I like this area.、Okay. Hi. I'm over here in the house. Show me again, Gan. So, your job is on a trivial note. Yeah. This g e n g a n g is really interesting, I think.、Mm -hmm. Because, from what I can tell, this g e n g a n g is sort of like it's more than just in the case of the, the area right in front of the house, but it's also mean, I think, it's like an in between place. So,、Probably. there's an outer place and then there's an inner place. And then、mm -hmm. the place that are the transition between the two is called a g e n k a n g And that could、Makes、be many things. Logical s e n s e Not just like a. Hi. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go read this line. Um. Sanin no teka ga yashiki no shomen tenkang de hatta. So the three minions stand at the front of the,、uh, like、the, the, the front place, the Genkang. I don't know how to translate that in English.、Um, entryway, maybe? Of the estate, the entryway,、nice. the waiting place, even. Yeah. <laughs> or, the pl the, or the reception,、uh, kind of. You know how you go to、yeah. the building, you have to get to reception first. In Japan, that probably where you take off your shoes would be the shoulmen genkan kind of.、Um, I, what did it end with, that genkan? End with kan. Yep, yep.、Uh, okay, so quite a few times we have seen ni and de being like kind of used interchangeably in here. And that's because in a, for a lot of verbs, you can use either, and it slightly insinuates different things. Um, for me, I always forget, which is why I have these notes right here that I stole from the internet to kind of explain why. But basically, when ni is used, you're kind of saying that this action happened here, but the action may have, like, is kind of done, kind of. So it's kind of like, he stood there, but we're done. Woo, it's over. <laughs> Apparently, is what it insinuates. Well, de is very much focusing more on where they are. So he could be standing here and he could have moved after that. But、um, that, that's apparently what it kind of insinuates. It insinuates that the verb is done. They're done with the action. While de is insinuating the action is still occurring. Apparently, that's、mm. uh, the difference. So does... <laughs> Money, so does that mean that from your experience, where does that particle need? The verb that follows t e n d to be in the ita form. Would not、yeah. be in the root form, right? I normally see it with ita. Normally. W、Hi. When, when、um, it's with these kind of words. But it looks like it doesn't necessarily have to be like that.、Um, yeah, I just kind of insinuate that. But how that. can it be? 
I'm not sure. How can it be done when it's in the infinitive form? Well, Where we in know the it's a verb, habitual action. In that case, you'd be insinuating will, not habitual. So I will be standing there and then I will stop standing after that. Right? So the dictionary form is habitual or it's future tense. So it's probably focusing on the future tense meaning in that case. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so in general, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just kind of guess and you're probably fine. Um, but just know that the books use both and we will use both. And event, I, I feel like this is probably like the most like, what am I reading <laughs> type of uh, grammar. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no real English grammars about this, but this is also why um, ni ita exists to exist because the idea is that you're not going to be in that stationary location forever right you're existing like oh if you say like oh she's in the library you're not like saying she's going to forever be in the library you're making it obvious that she, well she might have left and she can leave maybe she's not in the library anymore so you kind of use me because you say currently she's in the library but the action will end at some point is what the insinuates dead just kind of says this action is probably continuing right now uh, okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Neburi wa tsuzuite shomen gengan ni tatte ita kuro no yongni no teka to hanashi o shi. Sangin Tomo Yashiki no Naka e Tosareta Neburi follows and stand so in, in front can of kind the of estate. Mean follow and here it literally it's just Neburi continues. Um, I'm guessing it's the Hanashi a little bit. Like he continues his conversation would be my guess in this context. So I everybody see. continues. And I cause because the next verb is kind of that. But it I could see. be continues walking. Um both he, he continues through would be what that would insinuate. But it feels most likely it's continuing his conversation. I would say because that's like the most kind of coming between them. But literally it's just he continues. All right, so he continued, uh, and he was, and he's he was standing, uh, at the uh, gate of the estate. I'm thinking never. Hmm. Let's go look at what the tight the tate is attached to. Oof! It's attached oh, to Krono Yoni no Testa. Um, I is modify. I stopped too early. Stop too early. It Just modify. Good. Hi. The only way I can stop is when I actually hit a, an actual. Um, yeah. So that'd be te form end of a or clause. like a comma. So that would be te form, some kind of like nagara or something like that. So ta form is never <laughs> going to be the end of a clause. Ta form is ta form, um, ni form, and du form. These guys are all signs that there's a relative clause following or a period is going to fall. Since there's no period here, we know we're going to be describing a noun. Hi. So the minions of the the four minions of Klo were standing at the Genkong of the estate. Hi. And they were having conversations. With who? Uh, 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 with Neburi. Yep. Among other things. And then what happened? And then the three of them, the tomo, which is meaning the plural form of the three, of the three, yes? Tomo meaning three people, yeah? I believe here, in this case, it's saying three of the minions with Neburi. So the three also for this case. So we're right here, Neburi starts to have a conversation with four minions. And then three of the minions, I think, I, I should probably double check that. One second. Hi. I'm going to read the next sentence real fast. Do, do, do. Uh, next sentence. Gosh. Uh, 
We're just gonna pretend that that's what it means, and if it's wrong, I'll apologize. <laughs> Hi. So the the three, um, Yashiki no Nakae Tosareta. The three go through the inside of the mansions. Yes. Okay, now we're doing a kanji check. Um, how's this guy read? Monban. Hi, Monban. Um, do you happen to know how this guy's read? Leftover. Yes, it does mean leftover. To leave something nah, no. behind. It does have no, no in it. No kosu. No. So no kosu is to leave something behind. So the something is gonna be no kosud. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Majutsushi wa shoumen genkan ni yojimbo o nakosu. The magician left behind the bodyguard at the genkan or the front. The front of the Genkang. The yep. front of the um the reception. Yep. The wizard left the magician in the front of the magician. Do you know how to put morao into Tari form? Morao. U. Hi, morao. What does it turn into? Morai tai. Mora yep, moraitai. Perfect. Moraitai. Nice. Um moto. Moto can be used to describe um, next to somebody. So it's basically the same as tokoro, like somebody's tokoro. Um, it feels a little bit more dramatic. So in the book, this is used to, with the um, man of twilight because, you know, they're they're being dramatic. It's like, I shall bring you to where the man of twilight resides. Is kind of the aesthetic it gives. Um, anyway, what's the tip form of Haki? How do you read that word? Nanosu. No kosu. Right. No kosu. No kosu. Te form. Su. Okay. Su. Su. Sh. 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 No becomes shite. Yep. So no, no koste. Perfect. And after thinking up about this, um, I think when they said Sanning Tomo, maybe they're talking about three more guards entered in here. So there were four guards in the entryway. <laughs> and then the three that I I have no idea what Sanning Tomo is saying. The more you think about it, the more it doesn't make sense. Ah. That's the problem with counters. Um, do you know what okay. Anai Suru means? Anai Suru is to go um to lead the way as uh, to give give guidance. Yep. Perfect. Um, to tour. <laughs> to guide the way. Okay, so let's go read this line. Higure no kimi no moto no moto e annai suru to te ka no hitori ga neburi ni itta daga yo jinbo wa koko ni nokoshite moraitai. And we have less than one minute. Oh, oh <laughs> so my. How'd that happen? Back. Oh, yeah, smart. <laughs> How'd that happen? See you in 